All right, oil. oil. Okay. Let's jump over. All right, so we'll close this out. Oil, some volatility here. Yeah, when those numbers come out last night, you can see it was a one-way route. Where are we? Right. Right. Yep, no, no, buck. for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, so there's your 430 time last night. We were trading at about 5350, call it. Yeah. And you tanked to about 5280 on that number. And we've kind of hung out a little bit of oscillation, but now we're kind of just under that number, 5266. And we're looking at the price of July crude. I'm going to jump in here, I'm going to jump into those commodity spreads, jump into crude, and uh, let's see where these line up. We'll start at the 11s. Contract trading at 52.65, not bad. We're going to have 52.75 that we can gain some exposure. There's going to be a bullish trade, slightly out of the money, right, about 10, 12 pennies, so it's all going to be premium, 15 yeah. bucks. Same buck 50 to the downside. You'd be selling this one. This time you have 12 cents of intrinsic value, so that's going to be 12 pennies. Plus a similar 15 of premium, so you're looking at 43. Okay. Call it 45 cents with some commissions. Right. Um, call it 50 cents for even math if you want a little profit. You, and, can, you can get that kind of movement today. Oh, you know? for sure, right? Yeah. And especially keeping in mind, so you got 15 cents start to the to the downside. Okay. So your profit becomes um, 52.25 to the downside or 53.25 to the upside. And you can see how a little bit bearish there, but exposure for a buck 50 almost in both directions. Let's see where the noons line up. All right, same exact price point. That's always nice. There's your bullish trade. You're trading at 52.60. This is cost, you know, uh, how did I do that, right? Let me just close this to make sure. 52.75, yep, these are identical. Top one's till 11. We're ticking to 15. And, yeah, that's a lot more Something's premium, it, right? Isn't it a lot less? No, it's no. a lot more, as in uh, Five pennies. from okay, 15. Yeah. So this is moving around a bit. We're now at 52.61. Right. And that's 52.97, 52.89. Yep, yeah. and you can okay. see the market ticking, all right? Um, three pennies, not bad for a bit offer there. Uh, but the bullish, so we'll close out the 11s. Bullish noon, cost you 21. That one being out of the money, of course. We'll open back up the noons. You look at your bearish trade. <clears throat> This is going to be the expensive one with some value, 36, 57. Well, we're going from 45 to 57. Yeah. Almost appropriate, right? Not not bad, but a so little. The, so the market, this is pretty cool, folks. So that market is pricing in that, yeah, it's going to come out, but then they don't know there's going to be movement here. I just have to put, we're, we're 15 cents away from the, the perfect spot, and that's right. adding to the cost of these. Right. Just, you know, right. when we pull them up. Usually the ideal, right, is that the contract's trading at 52.75, trading 15 pennies away. Right. So but I'm that's, talking about the difference of just the 11 to the 12. That's a big. That's a lot bigger spread than we normally used to do. Meaning 13 pennies. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that might be close. It is like 10 pennies, maybe. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm, that's, that seems to me a, a lot for an hour. It sometimes. So what, what ends up happening is that this is where inside of the option market folks okay that we'll see how close they get do you know what i'm saying as yeah. to as to you know I mean, what I kind of movement we get i only look at it as in they're adding about five pennies to each side for an hour right so that's not two they're at least going to be adding like three or four pennies to you know so i'm just really that it's 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 pretty appropriate but again a uh, little pricey because you're paying for 15 cents which is you know so the 11s were 45 bucks the, the noons are 55, 60, right, Where, wherever we're at. And of that, though, 15 of that is intrinsic value, which you kind of don't want to be paying for, right? right. That's a big percentage no, of the money you're sure. putting up. And you can see how big of a difference is when they line up so perfectly, which is nice sometimes. Um, but we'll see, 1024, right? And uh, we just jumped in there. So the market, in terms of what they're looking for, they have the crude oil, and um, somewhere between, usually what happens is the survey number is an early number. I think that number might start to get calculated prior to the number last night for okay. the API. Yeah. And then when the API comes out, people start um, cluing into that hint, and so you're looking for probably closer to even right now, to a decline of about 300,000 barrels. Isn't that wild? And, then, and so what, what has happened, I, I believe last night we had a good size build so okay th this here is saying that we have a decline I just put in what we just put in a two billion a two million builds right two million builds yeah so and let's see if uh, whoops let's see if the top live comes up as uh, here we go maybe they give us a hint of what that API sometimes last night 
Yes, 3 million barrel build. There mm. you go. Crude. Bit mm. of pressure from API data, so 3 million barrel build. Um, pressure could worsen, worsen if EI data shows that the survey is overly optimistic. In the gasoline and distillate surveys, there's also optimism that at risk of a letdown similar to last week when surprise gasoline build helped drag WTI down to the low 50s. Right, and the gasoline build in the uh, last night was big too, you know, which, you know. It's so let's see, they got, uh, where the were we The distilt then? was huge. Okay. So the distilt is, is the, you distilt, know, jet yeah. fuel um, okay. and heating fuel. I mean, it was, it, was, it was the biggest one out there since uh, about a year. You know? Always interesting how the fundamental factors come into this, of course. We're talking about a commodity, man. You got to refine it. You got to move it around the country. Yeah. We're in summer season. You got storms going on. So they got the effects of the Midwest and Great Plains flooding are likely to finally hit Cushing this week after a key outbound pipeline was forced to shut down while a number of refiners cut runs. Hmm. So there, uh, there might be a glut, right, stuck there that they can't get it out, they can't refine it, that will likely put more pressure on prompt prices and the spread, even as summer demand uh, means refineries ramp up their facilities. Refineries have been running below normal for this time of year. We keep seeing that as we do these on Wednesday and at the lowest since 2016. That could be bearish for crude draws, but could also point to a gasoline draw, depending on what happens with the imports. We'll see what wow. happens. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 120. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are up 4.5. Gold's up 9.30. Uh, silver's up at 13 cents. And you get the King Dollar down at 89 ticks. Tommy and I come right back, folks. Stay right there. Welcome back, folks. Uh, check this number out. We got some oil on our hands, we baby. We got big oil, man. 6.77 million barrels. Watch, uh, watch out, man. Yeah. Um, you got gas inventories up 3.21. We're going to jump back to the chart. I think we're going to see a decrease in the price of crude. Slightly. That's what you would think. And boom. Boom. There you go, man. Whoa, that is a decrease. You're talking about uh, we just dropped almost a dollar. Yep. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. 51 handle in the price of crude, 7 million barrel build. Pretty remarkable gas uh, gas with the build as well. And, uh, of course, as they say. Look at that gasoline. Yeah. Just the build? Yeah. Yeah. Just 3.2. And we're in yeah. driving season. Yep. You know, bottom line is that energy's out there. And, you know, you're going to admit, 44 bucks, that's my take. We're going to December, the, the, you know, 26 level here. So. Well, this move's going to help in that journey. Yeah, um, no doubt, man. So these contracts we were looking at, just keeping in mind, you really, your, your max profit there, where are we looking? 52.75, uh, right? Now, what's interesting is this actually clawed right back up to that, if we were following it in the final three minutes, where you could have gotten... Um, oh. Equal exposure. We got okay. the move in the direction you wanted anyway, but you can see that 1025 bar just crept from 5260, which is where we were looking at it, yeah. to 5275. Um, and that was, so like this would be your bearish. And uh, if you want to close that out, what are we looking at? 80 bucks. This is the 11. That one was costing us um, 43. Yes. 43. Yeah. Plus, uh, it would have been commissions. Um, so you can see. I might let that one ride out a little bit with uh, with that type of a build. Seriously. The market's not happy with that surprise build. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder what this, oh, is this in, in total stocks? So when they break down everything, maybe in terms of, you know, you got gas, you got crude, you're talking about 22 million barrels probably of uh, some type of crude or crude derivative. Um, That's some real action, man. It is, it is. I'm, I'm waiting for when they give us the full breakdown, but we'll jump back and we'll check in on that. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 63, Nasdaq's down 22, S&P's are flat, and uh, oil. Uh, we got the little smack down there. Watch out for falling prices. Didn't yep. that used to be Walmart's slogan, man? Falling prices in oil, 51.30. Uh, yep. We were trading at 52.75 prior to that number. Yep. Interesting thing here is kind of taking a look. So these were buck 50 spreads. Yep. We're right to the penny right now at your max profit. All right, so here's your 11 AMs. This expires in five minutes. If you wanted to close out that trade, you could close it out, buy it back at 51.33. You lock in 142 of the 150 possible um, it's a good number, man. value you can get. If you feel like just letting it play out for five minutes, keep it in mind that right now it's fading at 51.25. You're going to get closed out at wherever that trades. Right. Um, and what they do, I believe, is they take the last five or ten prints. They average it. That way That's nobody right. can just pop the last print before right. the minute. Um, now, looking at the noon, a little bit more interesting in terms of what if you have this at noon? All right. We're right near the bottom. Yeah. 51.25 is your max profit. You're trading 51.30. You can buy it back, and you're paying this time about the 20 cents of premium, right? But you're locking in 123 um, of a possible 150. 
and you were putting up about $50, 55, um, yeah. 55 for that for that trade. Again, you could figure it out whether you want to, but uh, that's a long time, an hour, to let that sit mm -hmm. if no, you wanted to. Totally. Right? And on the Bloomberg, folks, uh, this was pretty cool. So we got... We're the, we're the champs and uh, we gasoline. We got the three million barrel building gas, and yeah. the build was 3.2, so yeah. uh, we nailed it.